Hello Aquarius and welcome to Remote Learning Day number six. We are going to follow the same format with our four different Teams links set up at 9, 11.40, 1 and 2.40. We do not have a whole school assembly today. After we have checked in with one another at 9am, we will complete our English and Maths work. The information is on this PowerPoint. This morning for English, you will need your editing worksheet or the same information that is shown on this slide. I screenshotted it and put it on. And in maths, you will need the white rose worksheet called subtracting with two four digit numbers with more than one exchange this time and access to the white rose video online. The extension for maths is also on this PowerPoint. We will group back together at 11.40 and mark our maths daily practice, our maths worksheet and go through the English work together. After lunch, we will read the class story together and then afterwards you will complete your Vipers guided reading session. It is a non-fiction text this week, you'll be pleased to know. It's our first one of the term and complete our French writing and Makaton activity. We will group back together at 2.40 to mark our guided reading answers, hear some of your wonderful French sentences and go through some Makaton signing together. In English, you will be editing your draft persuasive crayon speech. In school, we will spend a whole lesson editing as this piece of writing is being used for me to assess where your writing is at at the moment. Remember, the purpose of our speech is for the crayon character that you have created yourself to hopefully win the crayon colour a place in the crayon box. You will need to read through your work and check that you have included everything on the editing sheet. So have you used paragraphs? Have you used fact and opinions, emotive language, interesting details, conjunctions, repetition, persuasive apostrophe, formal language as it is a speech, modal verbs? If you have crayons at home, I would like you to underline examples of each of these in your speech in a different colour. So, for example, uh, possessive apostrophes can be read in your text, in your speech, underline every possessive apostrophe in the red crayon. Then for modal verbs, blue. Underline your modal verbs in blue. I hope that makes sense. If you don't have them, then you just need to include them. So either put a little star in your writing where you would like to add something in, or a number one, a number two, a number three, if there's more than one thing that you need to add in. If there is space, as you should have left a line in between each um, of your writing lines, then you can just add it in above. I have explained on the following slide some of the things you need to make sure you have included in case you are unsure. This editing, it should take you a while, it should take you the whole lesson because you need to thoroughly go through. Also, you need to check the Be, Your, Be A Star Writer expectations checklist. Check that you've used capital letters, punctuation. Here I have explained some of the things that are new to year five that you may not fully understand yet to help you when editing your work. Our brain break activity for today is to complete the Disney quiz below. We will go through the answers in our morning feedback session. I have tried to include a range of different Disney films so that it, um, some of the boys, some questions might take your fancy more than the girls and vice versa. Here is your maths daily practice for today. Please complete the three questions and then we will mark these answers together in our morning feedback session. In maths today, our focus is subtracting two four digit numbers with more than one exchange. You will need to watch the white rose video on the link provided and complete the white rose worksheet that goes alongside it. Once finished, please take a photograph of your work and send it to me via Microsoft Teams or email. And we will go through these answers as usual in our morning feedback session. There is an extension on this slide for those of you that are speedy and will get through it quicker than others. This week's guided reading session is Vipers. It is based on the Weather of the World nonfiction text. It is our first nonfiction text of the year. We will be focusing on vocabulary based questions as this is our Vipers focus for the term. It will be our last Vipers session focusing purely on vocabulary. As usual, there are eight words that you need to find in the poem and highlight or underline. This is developing our skimming and scanning skills. In the table underneath, if there are any words that you do not know the meanings of, please as usual write them down. 
then write what you think they mean and then using an online dictionary or using a dictionary if you do have one at home you need to write what they actually mean the true meaning of them this will help build up our vocabulary to help us eventually in our writing please then answer the questions as usual on the worksheet and then you are going to hand this in to me via microsoft teams or email afterwards in french this week we are putting our knowledge of french colors to the test you can use google translate or a french dictionary to help you if you have one at home firstly practice with a family member how to ask them and then how to respond to the question what is your preferred color or what color do you prefer like i did with you in class before we had our class closure our second french task is to write a few short sentences about elmer the elephant there are some French words on the slide to help you. This will be on the following slide. As an extension, invent your own bizarre multicolored animal. Color it inappropriately once you have drawn it. Give it a name and write a short sentence to describe it. Please hand in your work to me via Microsoft Teams afterwards if you do complete this extension. In Makaton this week, we are recapping the colors, the days of the week, the alphabet. We are also learning the feelings and emotion words too. So this is our new learning for the week. Please use the link to the school website to recap them. We will go over a few of these signs during our afternoon feedback session. Please hand in your English editing worksheet, your maths worksheet, your guided reading worksheets and your French worksheet with a few sentences on or your extension or and your extension to me via Microsoft Teams or email.